going on a road trip. Houston, here we come. We're going to look at some rigs. Uh, we're going to see a friend, have good food, and see a concert tonight. So, Houston, we're coming for you. I think we're gonna go with follow our nose and go with this starter for a soup. Has found his aisle. I hear the song of my people. <laughs> <laughs> market was gigantic. I absolutely love just wandering down the aisles. We are a couple of foodies. It was at least 50 times bigger than the Asian market that we've been into before. I, I've never been in one anywhere near that size. Houston is definitely a huge uh, international population. They've got markets for every international kind of food that you would want, including finding an American aisle in the Asian store, which was kind of just weird and surprising. <laughs> But we picked up a few things that we wanted to try. Taste test! <laughs> we couldn't pass this one up because it's actually Lay's. It says it's a numb and spicy hot pot flavor, <laughs> which I'm not really super excited about something that has the word numb in its title. But uh, this is the one we decided on. I couldn't convince this one to go with the spicy eel flavor because that was another option. <laughs> and then I, my sweet tooth couldn't pass up the excellent Pocky. <laughs> so, I, we'll I'm not worried shot. about that one at all. <laughs> a little bit worried about this one. I'm going to use Google Translate on my phone. It says aim it at the text that you're unfamiliar. And it says, it's aroma. Aroma flavor. That's what it translates as. Theme. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Aroma book book taste. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying that one. So I think the bag is messing with it. What did that say disease? What's Ayeko? Apricot hemp training comma competition? But <laughs> I think something's going wrong. Refined taste. Okay. Tongue hemp paste. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> aroma, aroma, aroma. Let's see if it's got an aroma. Okay, so we're going to start with this one, which is the numb and spicy hot pot flavor, because if it goes really badly, I just want to eat a chocolate stick of pocket <laughs> afterwards. 
<laughs> I, I hope so. it doesn't numb my tongue. Okay. Can you smell it? I mean, it smells like a hot pot restaurant. It has an aroma. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it has a refined taste, too. I hope it's not um, some of those other things. Definitely not yeah, disease. Yeah, no. No disease. Ready? Ready. Go. It's a hot pot. It tastes just like some of the seasonings that would use in a hot pot. Which they've got paprikas in here, fennels, garlic, chili, onion, Sichuan pepper, which is what's pictured all in the hot pot. I can still feel my tongue. Yeah, yeah. I could I can eat some more of that. I could eat some more of that. Yeah. Here's two. Woo! Woo! That's a pretty good flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Okay. Nothing to fear here. It's really good. Maybe I can talk them into the eel one next. Mm. And now for the dessert taste test, where the number one ingredient is sugar. <laughs> Which favorite? <laughs> Pocket! Hay! Pocket! Okay, it looks like they may have melted together into one giant pocket <laughs> stick, but I mean, it's Houston, so it's hot. Yeah, they have totally melted into one giant stick. Here, here's a tiny <gasps> taste test. Piece. <laughs> and I get the giant one. Oh, now. hey, <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'll take the little one too, and okay. then we'll eat the giant one. But ready? Ready. Well, um, that's excellent. Oh no, it's chocolate on a stick. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to eat another one just to make sure. Uh, break, break off one of those for me, please. There you go. Ooh, nice. I like the texture. Just like a chocolate cookie with covered in chocolate. So, it's delicious. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish eating the, the hot pot ones and he's going to finish eating the chocolate sticks because I like generally savory things. and. I've got a sweet tooth. He's got all the sweet tooth. <laughs> Do you want the mega stick of Pocky? Oh, yeah. Here you go. You can have it. <laughs> wow. It's one of those moving pictures. Really? <laughs> <laughs> fast this is still gonna be very slow but that means it won't be that much slower in the mountains we spent hours pouring over every single little compartment in these rigs the monaco otherwise known as barbie one was definitely our favorite we could see ourselves 
living in a rig like this. It had no slides, which was very appealing to us. Older rigs have the advantage that they generally cost a lot less, but you have to look carefully at them and decide whether or not something's gonna be worth your time and effort. Cosmetic issues can be relatively easy to fix, but it's really important to look for major structural and mechanical issues, as parts on old rigs can be hard to find. Wood rot's definitely the killer looking for water damage, and uh, that's a huge nope. After hours of looking at RVs in the hot sun, Houston decided to shed a rainbow on us and a little bit of rain to cool things off, just in time for five o'clock traffic. We jetted as quickly as we could across town, haha, <laughs> and went to the neighborhood known as the Heights. Uh, it definitely had a funky kind of vibe to it. Kind of felt a little bit like Austin in that it was a little bit weird and quirky and wonderful with all the murals everywhere. We absolutely love these murals. Theater just happened to be right across the street from Torchy's Tacos, which everybody kept telling us we had to go to. So we followed their advice and went, which was totally worth it because the food at Torchy's Tacos was delicious. My favorite was the Alabama Shake Taco, which had a cornmeal crusted catfish and delicious fresh slaw. After cleaning our plates at Torchy's, <laughs> we went across the street to see the Liz Longley and Scott Mulvey Hill concert. The Heights Theater was really classy. It's a converted old movie theater and I love what they've done with it. So I first got to see Scott Mulvey Hill on a Tiny Desk concert on NPR, but now we're getting to see him in his hometown of Houston, Texas. Show. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Scott Mulvihill is, he's got a band that plays with him, which is, they're really talented musicians, but then he has some solo songs where he just plays his upright bass and how he plays it percussively and as a string instrument and then his singing. I mean, it is a very rich, full sound and getting to see it live was like everything I I was hoping it would be. It's absolutely amazing. And then on top of that, we didn't get to see just him. There was no. Liz Longley as well. Which I really didn't know anything about her going into the concert, except for she had a really great voice. But that woman and her storytelling is just out of this world. She will tell stories in between songs and just not skip a beat. It just weaves right into the song. It's. it's really impressive so now we have become fans of hers as well so it was a it was a show that we we went in thinking that we were going to get one great artist and came away having seen two and now for our next trick i want some ice cream <laughs> so we heard about this really great place called fat cat creamery creamery right down the street and we're gonna uh we're gonna get some ice cream before we hit the road. I have to have something to keep me awake when I'm driving home. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it's really good, so let's go check it out. Woo! Thanks for watching our video. We are the root of it all. If you liked our video, 
please click the thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. And don't forget to press the notification bell to receive updates whenever new videos come out. We appreciate any and all of those things because we are a relatively new channel and we enjoy all the feedback uh, that you can give us. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Catch you on the next adventure. High five. Low five. Mama steamer and baby steamer. <laughs> Family serving, single serving. <laughs> There's a squirrel. Okay. There's a squirrel in there? Uh, turbo. Oh. oh sorry, I said squirrel. Snail. I don't know. This one tastes like green and this one tastes like orange. Which one do you want? No. You mean the RV? What's his name? This seat is awfully handy. So this is a fill my ramen bowl aisle. <laughs> Trying to pop the bag. <laughs> I don't eat chips that often. <laughs> Check it out. I think I'll have better luck with the box. Oh, yeah. There's Should a bag. be a little easier time opening this one. Oh, and they're individually wrapped. <laughs> oh, no. Bags. <laughs> <laughs> My weakness. <laughs> Brown sugar cone, pumpkin cheesecake, ice cream, that's pumpkin, the way to do October in the South. Point in his hat and then my hat in. I think we found the bumps. Houston, we have a problem.